this playing one. Kazia. I did remember this. We're totally wrong with this one. But so. no, okay, so yeah, Zeph's playing Kazia and Jeff's playing Ridley, which I didn't expect at all. But I mean, hey, you know, once a sortie main, always a sortie main, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so this is the first time I've had to cast a Kazia, and I'm like, I am not going to remember all the things. <laughs> um, it doesn't even matter because Zeph definitely has that on lock. He's got some good early jabs just to like get the combo started, and now he's going to have to use right. that devil to get himself back on stage. All right, we're seeing some great edge guarding here on the part of Jeb. Yeah, so far, Jeb uh, unable to catch that last approach back to ledge, but uh, Zephyr now having to play safe off stage yet again. Yeah, raid drive online for Zeph. And oh, connects with the down air, but can does not low, yeah. make it back yeah, to Yeah, he stage. does not step the ledge, which is definitely um, a detriment to himself right now. Now Jeb is looking like he's pretty good. He's in the driver's seat trying to get some extra credit. All right. Okay, the drag down forward there, I like that. And then just the goes for the F-Smash on platform. Wow. Jeff going very, very deep here. But really pretty good recovery, so he's able to make it back. Oh, yeah. Mixed up with, oh, oh God, just, I do not care for your F-Smash. Jeff's Jeb, <laughs> going pretty hard on the F-Smash front, but that Zephyr is just like, you know what? That's cute. I've got armor on everything. Like, I'm just a big muscle man, and it doesn't even matter. All right, Rage Drive once again online. Right, those connect those uh, hits are going to connect a lot easier now that he's got that on there. And I think um, Jeb is kind of respecting that here, just trying to play back here. And just as I say that, the big grab, right? The big grab. Um, now Zephyr turns that stock right around. Now he's sitting uh, pretty with two stocks to one. He does have uh, a little bit of time left before he goes down. All right, that's a much. great catch by Jeb. Trying to catch. Um, I think we mentioned this maybe at the beginning of the stream. Kazuya can sometimes struggle getting back down to the ground. Yeah, so when his landing options are not like the best, especially against Jeb, who's abusing the uh, the intangible wings of the up air from Ridley. Um, able to just kind of throw out stuff. Missed the space pirate rush, and that could have been a very, very big punish. Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. Like, Zephyr was only at 34%. It wouldn't have done too much, but it would have got him off stage. And I think that could have set Jeb up for a great combo off stage. It's the edge guarding that Ridley needs to, like, really put, put Kazi in the dirt. Right, he'll get the back air, get stage control, looks for the back air once again, but just uh, one roll too many, and that's going to be an up smash, and that's going to be a game one win. Yeah, Zephyr. yeah, I mean, Zephyr really, um, I, I think, got into the rhythm that you need for, like, those traditional fighting game characters. Um, one of the best things about those is that, like, once you get going, the advantage state is usually pretty, pretty strong. And um, Jeb with the Ridley, like, I was definitely uh, pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting it. But um, he definitely knows his way around the character, and I, I like that he was using the right options. Um, he just needs to win neutral a little bit more, and definitely edge guard a little bit. But we saw the great edge guard at the very beginning of that last, that first game, but I want to see him continue that into the sec uh, second game. So we've been seeing quite a few Ridleys uh, God, in don't MGPA recently. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. So. <laughs> All right, so Zephyr took that game one. It's going to go back to Cloud here. Jeb is going to stick with the go back to Roy. Okay, yeah, yeah, that seems a lot more... Yeah, this, this we seems were, like what we were expecting. What we were expecting. The first game doesn't count, except, I mean, Je Zephyr would obviously disagree with that. He did get that uh, that first game pretty convincingly, but here in game two, you know, on Battlefield, Roy does like the triple flat. Um, I think Cloud would like them as well, but here, uh, we'll see how it works out. All right, there's that lucky... Yeah, this has been a great parry by Jeff. Okay, and he goes for the second parry, but of course the cross slash continues on as he gets limit. All right, great the double edge dance, but unfortunately gets caught by Zeph's recovery. Right, but he doesn't get spiked like that by the uh, the limit up speed because you definitely want to hold in so you don't fall too far off the ledge and then just die for nothing. Roy up B doesn't have that much vertical mobility sometimes, um, so you have to watch out. And for a dash attack, we'll take that stock, right? Oh yeah, but the raw F tilt obviously getting him into an unfavorable position, and now Jeb connects the get up option with the side beat. Oh, right. that is a great big string. Reads okay. the roll in, okay. just doing a massive amount of damage with these platforms. Quick oh. 67 percent, but goes for the counter. Yeah, he breaks the rhythm with the counter. I'm not, so, I'm not a huge fan of that, just because it's like, you know, it's risky, and you had the opportunity to really connect. No, that is. Yep, had to burn the limit with the recovery and just Jeff just F tilts and Jeff cannot make it back to stage. Yeah, and obviously like Jeb, you know, showing that he is a master of Roy right now. He knows what he's doing with this character, even Ooh. more so than the Ridley. Almost and had the had the grab read there. Right. 
Okay, so the B reverse. I like it. The B reverse neutral B kind of lets him kind of almost wave land on the platform there. Jeb getting out of harm's way. All right, so Zeph just... Ooh, and a little down tilt, but he does roll in to avoid the next hit. Zeph's got to connect with this, but... Nah, yeah. Unfortunately, the jump from ledge will be enough to get him out of there. Okay. I like the, F, uh, the FR read, but yeah, there it is. Now Zephyr trying to get a little bit more limit so he can try to get some combo started here. Couple up tilts. Oh, he's had the, had the right idea. Turn around for the cro uh, okay, cross exactly, slash, yeah. but that back air is going to clean things up for Jeb. Yeah, a we, really, really strong second game. Yeah. Absolutely. We got ourselves, once again, a game number three. Yeah, that's true. I guess that has been happening quite often tonight. But uh, Jeb doing a really great job uh, with just connecting some of those like great strings, right? Like the couple, uh, the two nairs that he had in that in that game right there, with, that set him up for a great edge guard. I think that kind of aggression is the is the key here for Roy players, especially for Jeb um, against a cloud. Was that town and city that we just see? Uh, possibly. If that was, is that, that thinking is... about his character? I think. Is he gonna go Seth? No, he's going to go Incineroar. Okay, this is interesting. So I like to see it. Um, Incineroar is a character we don't see very often from, from Zephyr, but, I mean, he does have it in the pocket as far as I, I know. I think that's a response to the stage. Yeah, maybe. Because Town and City is one of the best stages for Roy and Krom. That's he true. He can kill so easily off the side. So. Yeah. I mean, that's true. I mean, I think that's the benefit of having, like, a lot of characters in your arsenal for Zephyr. Um, he's able to just kind of react and be like, okay, I, I know this character can benefit from this stage as well, so I'm going to go for oh. it. I think he saw the B-reverse coming out, but Zeph was able to punish with a lone weapon. Gets another lone wow. weapon. Speaking of things that can kill easily off the side. I can't believe oh, it. Oh, like, has, has the two frame. Wow, so Zephyr, what a stock for Zephyr. Like, literally takes 19% and gets an entire stock off of it. Jeb, now, with no platforms, he's going to find it a lot harder to get out of this blender. Yeah, absolutely. That that was a heck of a quick stop for Zephyr. But you see the neutral B coming through for Jab. Yeah, one of the best things about Incineroar is like, if you know how to read a player like that, you can get so much off of it. Like literally catching both of those B reverse uh, neutral Bs, and now he's not letting Jeb get anything except for maybe an off stage. Oh, that's a great use of LP early there by Zeph. As you saw Jeb just reading, Jeb running off stage, but getting caught with another alone lap. Yeah, now. Just trading, you know, the trading kind of helps in center because he's a little heavy. He's heavier than Roy. He knows that his hits hit harder than Roy. Back Unless it's a sweet likes. spot, then it's like, yeah, negligible. Okay. Oh, that's yeah, oh, another wow. counter. But this time, no, no real punish for that, but he does connect um, out of the shield pressure to get another side beat. Like, literally, Zephyr up three stocks to one, looking very nice. All right, that air dives. We'll get the grab down throw. Okay, yeah, the raw up be just enough to kill. I mean, you forget that that does kill, even for a heavier character like Incineroar, but um, you get all those connects, and it did connect. It does connect better now than it did at the beginning of the game, um, for good reason. You want to be able to connect all of those things. There's another lone left to start things off with Zephyr. Okay, another great beginning of a string, but unfortunately, like, Zephyr's reaction able to stuff out Jeb's approach. Okay, here's a punish. Tilt, up air. Oh, okay, finally, okay. can X with a counter. I like to see it. Still, I think he's relying on a little bit too much, but I think that worked in his favor. Catching a jump with the alone web. Oh, yeah, he had no jump. So oh, that's... There. Oh, no! Not able to punish the counter. Oh, no. Yeah, see, the, the B reverse neutral B looked cool, right? In the, in the second game, it looked really good for Jeb, but in these situations, he just used it so...